Good evening and welcome to Hornet Arena in Bryant. This is the 6A State Basketball Tournament. The final ticket to the semifinals for the girls will be punched by the winner of this ball game, Fayetteville against Cabot. Fayetteville 21 and 5. They were 12 and 2 in the West. They're 15 and 4 away from Fayetteville, average just under 60 points a game. Cabot 23 and 5, 10 and 4 in conference. They're 16 and 3 away from home, an average just over 55 points a game. Now we'll send it down for the introduction of the starting lineups. So there are the starting lineups. <clears throat> we are set. Seda, Bridges, Goforth, Beck, Lyles for the home team tonight. Fayetteville in the whites. Theobald, Arnold, Christopher, Ogilvy, and Bellin for Cabot in the visiting red. Common opponents. Cabot's 3-1, Fayetteville's 2-2. Two two. Cabot beat Mountain Home and Conway, which Fayetteville did not do this year. Both did beat Van Buren. Cabot defeated Van Buren <clears throat> to get here in the opening round, 49 to 38. Back drives baseline, that's blocked by Ogilvy. Arnold bringing it up the floor. Bridges guards her. Ogilvy gets it back to Arnold. Both teams like to run if they can. We'll see who dictates the pace in this one. Bellin gives it back to Christopher. <clears throat> She's of concern to Fayetteville. They want to stop her. Arnold beats Bridges to the baseline, kicks it out to Christopher. Under over a minute to go, still no score. Theobald for three, and it rattles in. The junior puts Cabot on top, 3-0. Bridges to her left, leaves it. No work and weave, go forth from the key. Rattles around, no good, Ogilvy with the rebound. Christopher guarded by Goforth. They'll 
Fayetteville in a man-to-man -man defense. Theobald. Back out, Ogilvy. Posting up down low with Beck guarding her. Now Christopher comes around off the wing. Instead, over to Theobald. Bellin down low, being guarded by Lyles. Christopher again, still shadowed by Goforth. She'll launch a three. No good. Lyles with the rebound. She'll bring it up the floor. She's got back to her right. Hands it off to her, over to Bridges. They've got Goforth in the corner wide open. They never saw her. Now she's got it. She'll drive in. Oh, ran over Arnold. No call. Christopher the other way. Bridges tries to chase her down. Christopher with the little move off the window. Good. Cabot's scored the first five points of the ball game. 5.30 to go. 5-0 Cabot. Beck sets the screen for Bridges. She looks and kicks it out. Go for it. To the top. We've got three seconds in the lane. Sasha Goforth, the number 16 overall prospect, according to ESPN of this year's senior class. She's number four at the position. She is signed with Oregon State. Kariah Beck is ranked 70th overall. She is verbally committed to Memphis. At least that was the last information I had. Arnold. Theobald. Bellin down low. Ogilvy underneath. She's fouled by Beck. Karaya's first. Ogilvy had seven in the win over Van Buren. Knocks both of them down, and Cabot is up seven to nothing on Fayetteville. And they lose it out of bounds. Not the start Vic Rimmer wanted from his team. Jake Cook's got to be pleased with the way the Lady Panthers are playing. Both teams ride winning streaks into this one. Fayetteville's is three. Cabot is two. Christopher. Around the screen by Billen. It kicks it out on Theobald and went right back to Christopher, and that's a double dribble. Both spirit squads are here, and they're rooting on their teams. Fable brought palms and cheer and that's a charge on Goforth and that's a first. Fayetteville has not scored and we are almost halfway through the first quarter. Wow. Arnold. Christopher. Around the screen. She's trying to back and go forth. Puts it up. Go forth blocked it. Lyles with the rebound. Ahead to back. She tries to drive. Runs over Ogilvy, And Ogilvy's going to pick up the foul. First on Hannah. First team foul on Cabot. Fables committed a pair. Lyles off the inbound. Has it stripped away by Arnold, but one of the officials said no, that was not legally done. So Izzy picks up her first. Both teams now with two fouls. Fayetteville will inbound on the baseline. Still looking for that first basket. Beck got it. They announced go for it, but Beck's the one that scored it. So Fayetteville finally on the board. 7-2 Cabot. 
Arnold to her left. Up top, Bellin. Christopher wants it on the wing, gets it. Picked up her dribble, now needs help. Arnold behind a screen, thought about it, now drives inside, cut off by Lyles. Tip by Seda, back over to Bellin. Inside, Ogilvy cutting to the lane and off the window. That was pretty. Nice pass by Bellin. 9-2, Cabot. 2.50 to go. Three-pointer from Bridges. Splash. Claudia's got three. 9-5. Bridges just a junior. And we're watching her as a freshman. She can play. Bellin. Theobald needs help. Inside, Ogilvy. Turn around, quick shot, no good. Lyles with the rebound. Bridges kicks it out. Lyles open for three, no good. Rebound batted around, and Arnold comes away with it. Off the window, wouldn't go. Seda with the rebound. Cross court to Bridges. He's got Goforth on the other end. Leaves it instead for back for three. That's an air ball. It'll go the other way. 1.54 to go in an up and down first quarter. And Jay Cook wants a timeout to discuss it with his Lady Panthers. 30-second timeout. Hampton Inn by Hilton and Bryan is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Hampton Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a hot breakfast, indoor heated pool, fitness center, and meeting space. Hampton Inn is honored to be part of the 6A State Basketball Tournament in Bryant. The Hampton Inn by Hilton and Bryant is the official hotel of the 6A State Basketball Tournament broadcast. You see the Panther Huddle and Jay Cook. He's guided them to 23 wins, looking to make it number 24 and a rematch with Northside. Fayetteville looking to do the same. The Lady Bears await the winner of this one tomorrow night at 6 o'clock with the trip to Hot Springs at stake, and Shy Christopher just charged. Her first. Lauren Lindsay is checked in. Seda checks out and Bridges back in. Bridges drives in, gives it off to Lindsay. Trying to find some space. Lyles open for three. In and out, no good. Arnold with the rebound. A lot of contact. Play on. Izzy brings it up the floor. 1.15 to go in this first quarter. 9-5, Cabot in front. Christopher off a screen, had an opening, pulls up from three, no good. Long rebound, controlled by who? Cabot. Oh, and they're going to get a foul on Bridges. Her first. See you later. We thank Derek Walter of the AAA being on with us during the last game. Ogilvy, jumper no good. Again, the tickets for Hot Springs are available online. Go to the AAA website. And get them. They're very reasonably priced. Beck picking up, has two fouls. I'm not sure who that one was on. That was on Bellin, okay. Now we're squared away. Beck lost the handle. Wanted to drive, now she'll drive in there. Swipped away by Theobald. She'll leave it. For Arnold, brings it across. 30 seconds to go, opening quarter. Cabot has led the entire way. Hannah Dolan in the ball game, in the paint for Cabot. They'll back it back out. Everybody watching the clock. 
Coach Cook holds up the fist. They know what that means. Now they'll get going in motion. Off the screen, Christopher leaves it for Arnold. Out of bounds, point five. Quickly, Coach Rimmer sends in Emily, Emily Bailey and Sydney Kincaid trying to sneak a little rest for Beck and go forth. It's got to be a catch and shoot. Theobald, if it goes, no. And that's the end of quarter number one. 9-5, Cabot in front. They have controlled it from the start. Jumping out to a 7-0 lead. And the Bulldogs have been trying to play catch up ever since. What does Vic Rimmer drop in the huddle during the timeout? We'll find out when we return to Cabot. You're watching the 6A State Basketball Tournament. Whatever happens out there today, remember, you have the Hilton app. Will the Hilton app help us pick the starters? Great question, no. But it can help you pick your room from the floor plan. Can the Hilton app help us score? You know, it's not that kind of thing, but you can score free Wi-Fi. Can it help us win? Hey, hey, we're all winners with the Hilton Price Match Guarantee, all right? Man, you guys are adorable. All right, let's go lose this soccer game. Come on. Book with the Hilton app. If you find a lower rate, we match it and give you 25% off that stay. Expect better. Expect Hilton. As world-class athletes, sisters Tori and Lexi understand the dedication necessary to compete at the highest level. As these Arkansans prepare for the Olympics, the local community offers their full support. Among them is Guadney Chevrolet. guadney has been recognized for overall best sales excellence and have been selling some of the highest awarded vehicles in the market since 1957. Come see why Guadney Chevrolet remains Arkansas's number one Chevy dealer. Go Guadney or go home. Second quarter underway, Cabot on top, nine to five. They're led from the get-go, go forth. Drains a three. Her first basket of the ball game, and just like that, it's nine eight. Arnold will set it up top. Cabot's looking like they're gonna slow it down a little bit. Theobald, Arnold wants it in the corner, go forth. Guarding her, inside Christopher. Pull up over Lyles, got it. Shy Christopher's got four, it's 11 to eight. Bridges, looking to shake and bank. A little bounce pass to Beck, she lost the handle, loose on the ball lower, and Arnold comes away with it and gets it ahead to Christopher. She wants to run. She lost the handle momentarily. She might have gone to the lane. Arnold back over to Christopher. They'll reset. Dolan traveled. Ogilvy checks back in. Dolan checks out. Glad you're with us on the various platforms of Mascot Media. Wherever you're watching, let us know. Hashtag at mascot media team. We're just curious if you're enjoying it or if you're watching it, where you are. Arnold cuts off Seda at the pass on the baseline, knocking it out of bounds. Maddie Sear checking in now for Cabot. She had four in the win over Van Buren. Christopher was the leading scorer in that ball game with 15. Go forth, a little scoop with the right hand up and in. Fayetteville's cut it back to one. 11-10, Cabot. 6.28 to go. Arnold wanting somebody to come up top. Christopher, cross court. Arnold for three. No good. Go forth with the rebound. She's going to bring it down the floor herself from the left side. She wants to go to the basket. Beats Christopher to the basket and lays it up and in. Sasha's got seven. Fable's got the first, their first lead of the ball game at 12-11. They didn't score for over four minutes and <laughs> to open the ball game, and now they got the lead. And Lyles with the steal is going to add to it with the layup. And Cabot's going to take a timeout. Wow, 
what a turn of events. So Cabot takes a full. Let's take it with them. Fayetteville on a run. They've re they've taken the lead and extended. Back to Brian. Washington Regional Urgent Care is a convenient, cost-effective option to the emergency room. Open late and on weekends. Just walk in. No appointment needed. Mindset and dedication set the Olympic athlete apart from the rest. Sisters Lexi and Tori share what it takes to be world-class competitors. And with each competition, the bar is continually raised. In the car world, Guatney Chevrolet has set the bar for customer service at the highest level. Since 1957, they've watched the competition, change names, and come and go. Come see why Guatney Chevrolet in Jacksonville takes the gold year after year. Go Guatney or go home. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post. From downtown to way out of town. It's our customers connected and energized with Ozarks Go. Favel on top. 14-11, they're on a 6-0 run. or a 12-4 run if you expand it out. Go forth, knocks it out of bounds. It will stay with Cabot. Arnold up top, 5-19 to go. Second quarter, Lady Panthers over the Lady Bulldogs, 14-11. Sear on the wing, gets it to Christopher. Good ball movement by Cabot. Down low, Ogilvy, tough shot, couldn't get it to go. Lyles with the rebound, quickly the other way. It hits Bellin in the back, bounces to Beck. Bridges, Beck for three, yes. Pariah Beck's got five, and now it's 17-11. Fayetteville has flipped this one on its head. After a 7-0 start by Cabot. Fayetteville has gone on a 17-4 run. Beck almost comes up with a steal there. Almost forced to travel. Ogilvy. Sata knocked her a little bit. She lost it. Now Arnold amongst the trees. That's an extra step. And that's another turnover. Bridges and Sato come out. Lindsay and Bailey back in for Fayetteville. Lindsay to her left, gives it to back. Running a little bit of a weave. Now go forth, and Christopher's going to be called for the reach, and that is her second. Four oh seven to go, quarter number two. Thanks to Mike Lee, the athletic director of Bryant, Dan Shepard, his assistant, for their wonderful hospitality this week. As Goforth puts it back up and in, and everybody connected with the tournament here in Bryant, they've just done an outstanding job and been gracious hosts. We have definitely enjoyed our stay here, and they have run a phenomenal tournament. Christopher, blocked by Goforth, had it back, taken away by Lindsay. Now the home run pass to Lyles. Gets it back and fires a three, no good. Rebounded by Cabot. Sear had the rebound, gave it over to Arnold, lets her bring it up the floor. 3.13 to go in quarter number two. Ogilvy to Christopher. She'll drive baseline high off the window, missed everything. Lyles with the rebound. Now she'll dribble through and take it all the way to the basket and make it and is fouled by Bellin. Wow, what a play by Caroline Lyles. And she is just a sophomore, folks. Uh, one of the many, many, many multi-talented underclassmen in the state. Seda and Bridges re-enter, go forth and back will take a seat. Lyles with one free throw coming. 
at the 258 mark. Hornet Arena, first game was in January. Literally brand new facility and it is fantastic. Lyles hits that free throw, 22-11. 14-0 run has busted this one open. Ogilvy turns, spins, off the window. Nice shot by Hannah. She's got six. 22-13. Bridges in the lane, bounces it out. They work it around. Seda lost the handle. Bailey backs it back out. 2.25 to go. Cabot crowd, Channing defense. Bunch of li little Lady Panthers right behind the bench. Dreaming of wearing the red and black, and Ogilvy shaking up. I'm not sure what happened, but she is and in some pain. She's going to have to come out of the ball game. And the trainer will come over and check on her immediately. Twenty-four thirteen. Arnold brings it across. Over to Christopher. Sigler is in along with Dolan. Three-pointer from Sear on the left wing. That missed everything. Long rebound. Go forth. Back in the ball game. Has it. One on three. Floater no good. That's going to go off of go forth and out of bounds. Theobald will check in, and Christopher will get a rest with the 141 to go until halftime. Arnold to her left. Dolan. Bellin back to Arnold. Sear on the wing back up to Arnold. Baseline cut off. Oh, she traveled. Lyles will check back in for Fayetteville. Seda will check out. One ten remaining, quarter number two. Good to see Ogilvy back up on her feet. She's going to check in at the next dead ball after being shaken up. Back off a screen from Lyles, and they'll say it's a moving screen. So Caroline picks up her first foul, 24-13, and we got a timeout on the floor. Vic Rimmer taking the timeout with 58.6 and a 24-13 lead. The winner gets a date with Northside tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Bentonville and Conway will meet on the other side of the bracket. Winners tomorrow head to Hot Springs for the state finals. Nothing like March in Arkansas. If you love basketball, this is... Your time, because this is always the precursor of the March Madness gets it underway, high school and then college. Hoops heaven, you could call it. Back inside, lost the handle, needs help, gets it out to Bridges. 40 seconds left. No shot clock, so there's really no big rush. Still talk of the shot clock may be happening. Lyles for three. Caroline Lyles has eight points, and it's 27-13. What a difference a quarter makes. Fayetteville has just dominated this quarter. Cabot's only scored four points in the quarter. 
Fainville scored 22. They need to get a shot off. Arnold's going to have to put one up. Ogilvy will put up the three. No good, and it's halftime. And Fayetteville in control, 27 to 13. So we'll step away. Get, make sure the numbers are all correct. And be with you shortly. Fayetteville on top, 27-13.
Ray almost ready for the second half. Fable on top, 27 to 13. Scoring wise, Sadie with two for Fable. Bridges with three. Goforth with nine. Beck with five. Lyles with eight. For Cabot, Theobald with three. Christopher with four. Ogilvy with six. And that's it. Christopher and Bellin have two fouls. And Fable does not have a player with two fouls so far. Things were just about set. For the second half of action. Cabot will inbound. Trailing by 14. The winner to face Northside tomorrow night. And Cabot inbounds and gets it over to Arnold. Inside, Christopher has that one blocked. Whoops, wrong way. Here we go. On the other end. Lyles is fouled. She'll go to the line for two. The foul is called on Theobald. Her first. Lyles misses the first free throw. One more coming. Gets the second. Caroline's got nine. 28-13. Favell in front. Just underway. Third quarter. Fable on a three-game win streak. Cabot on a two-game win streak. Somebody's winning streak in it is ending tonight and someone's season ending as well. Christopher backing in against Goforth. Draws the foul. I think Sasha just picked up her second. Shy goes to the line for a pair. She had 15 in the win over Van Buren in round one. But Ogilvy's the leading scorer so far tonight with six. Christopher now has five. And that ends a 6-0 run by Fayetteville. 28-14, one more free throw. No good, rebounded, snatched away by Lyles. She'll bring it across. Go forth, wants to go to the basket and does, and lays it in with the right hand. She's got 11. She was the MVP of the state tournament back in 2017 as a freshman. A lot of coaches in Arkansas will be glad to see her at the next level. Christopher fouled by Goforth, and that's Sasha's third. Last year's Arkansas Gatorade Player of the Year was Goforth, but she's, oh, just her second? I thought that was three. Go forth, I swear, has been called for two fouls here in the second half. She had one in the first half. My math says that's three, but that's Springdale math for you. 30 to 15, our score. 6.55 to go, knocks the second one down. Christopher's got seven. Is now the leading scorer for the Lady Panthers. Beck drives in against Arnold and got it to go. Pariah has seven. 32 to 16. Arnold on the wing. Screen from Bellin. She'll drive in, kicks out. Christopher. She'll launch a three. That's off the mark. Rebound tapped around. Goes out of bounds. They'll say it was off Bridges. Still trying to figure out who that one foul was on earlier. It's not showing up on the scoreboard. Goforth comes away with it. They've got numbers. Knocked around. Bridges will launch a three. That's good. 
Fayetteville starting to pull away at the 6.04 mark. The same Fayetteville team that went over four and a half minutes without scoring. Arnold, a little Euro step. Santa picks up the foul, her first. Third team foul on Fayetteville in this half. I still think Goforth has three, though the board shows two. Unless one of those wasn't deemed a foul. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Long rebound to Bridges. They get it out. Seda, she's got Goforth on the wing. She'll pull up from three. No good. Rebounded by Ogilvy. Looks to get it to Arnold and does. Ogilvy, it ends up in the hands of Arnold. Now Bellin, back to Arnold. She wants to drive, kick out. Back to Arnold. Inside, Ogilvy wants to drive in, has to kick it out. And that's a travel on Christopher in front of the Cabot bench. Fayetteville's first game in a week, their last game was a week ago today at Harbor to close the regular season. They've been chomping at the bit to get on the floor and look sluggish to start, but man, have they heated up. Beck, floater in the lane. That won't go. Bridges gets the rebound and bring it back up top, and they'll reset the offense as Coach Rimmer holds up the thumb. Trying to a little pick and roll with go forth. Now she gets it in the lane, goes up, right-handed, good. Go forth has 13 and it's 37 to 16. 425 to go in the third. Ogilvy will launch a three. That one's well off the mark. Back with the rebound. She's fouled by Christopher in the backcourt. Honestly, Cabot looks like they've kind of run out of gas. And Coach Cook's going to take a full timeout, and let's take it with him. 4.07 to go in the third quarter. Fayetteville in control, 37-16. to 16. Whatever happens out there today, remember, you have the Hilton app. Will the Hilton app help us pick the starters? Great question, no. But it can help you pick your room from the floor plan. Can the Hilton app help us score? You know, it's not that kind of thing, but you can score free Wi-Fi. Can it help us win? Hey, hey, we're all winners with the Hilton Price Match Guarantee, all right? Man, you guys are adorable. All right, let's go lose this soccer game. Come on. Book with the Hilton app. If you find a lower rate, we match it and give you 25% off that stay. Expect better, expect Hilton. As world-class athletes, sisters Tori and Lexi understand the dedication necessary to compete at the highest level. As these Arkansans prepare for the Olympics, the local community offers their full support. Among them is Guadney Chevrolet. guadney has been recognized for overall best sales excellence and have been selling some of the highest awarded vehicles in the market since 1957. Come see why Guadney Chevrolet remains Arkansas's number one Chevy dealer. Go Guadney or go home. Thirty-seven, sixteen, Fayetteville in front. They've got the basketball. Four oh seven to go in quarter number three. Fayetteville boys and Bryant, our final game of the night. Coming up after this, Bridges lost it, taken away by Ogilvy. Arnold in the corner. Now work it around. Theobald cuts. Theobald cuts back door. She's on the wing. She's got it now. Looking to drive. Cross court pass. Christopher behind the arc. She'll pull up. Yes. The fadeaway three from Shy Christopher gives her 10. 37 19 and go forth. Quickly answers on the other end. Fayetteville just can strike so quick. And the lead back to 20.
Christopher again for three. No good. Lyles had the rebound, ran into Ogilvy and lost it out of bounds. They'll say it's off Ogilvy and it will be Fayetteville basketball. Lindsay and Bailey check in. Bridges and Seda will check out. Exactly three minutes to go. Lindsay to her right, looking for Bailey. She ran away. Lyles and Vic Rimmer wants a timeout. Didn't like the way that was developing. Coach Cook discussing things with the Lady Panthers. Hampton Inn by Hilton and Bryan is a proud supporter of high school athletics. Hampton Inn offers free Wi-Fi, a hot breakfast, an indoor heated pool, a fitness center, and meeting space. Everything you need when you're away from home. Hampton Inn is honored to be a part of the 6A State Basketball Tournament in Bryant. The Hampton Inn by Hilton and Bryant is the official hotel of the 6A State Basketball Tournament broadcast. Let them be your home away from home when you're in the Bryant area. Two forty-nine to go in the third quarter. Favorable inbound on the baseline on their end. Lindsay gets it ahead, and Bailey and Arnold collide, and they're going to call a jump ball. They're going to say it was a tie-up before they hit the floor. Possession arrow gives it right back to Fayetteville, though. Back on the baseline. Oh, that one's blocked by Bellin. Nice defensive recovery there. As the senior rejects that one. Got a whistle. I'm not sure what the. I think Vic Rimmer just picked up a warning. <laughs> He's a little surprised by that. So not a technical, just a bench warning. Some officials will give a warning. Some will just tee up straight up. Beck. 41-19. Arnold back to Christopher. Cross court. Back to Arnold. She'll drive in. Throw one up. No good. Rebounded by Beck. Fable's already got two players on their end of the floor. There's a long outlet pass. Back over to Goforth. Bailey. Goforth. Lindsay. Good ball movement. Lyles. Textbook. 44-19. And it would appear that it's going to be Northside and Fayetteville tomorrow. Ogilvy. Christopher drives in, spins. Three-pointer by Theobald, no good. Rebounded by Fayetteville. Back in the corner, another three. This time it's Lindsay. That's an air ball, long rebound. Christopher's got it. Go for it between her and the basket. And Sasha just picked up the foul. Okay, her third. Fable set to check in a fresh four. Cabot's going to check in a fresh two after the first free throw. Eleven for Christopher. Forty-four twenty. Seda, Allison Barr, uh, yeah, Allison Bars, Lindsay, Kincaid, and Bridges are on the floor for Fayetteville. For Cabot, Sigler's in there, as is Arnold, Sear, Christopher, and Ogilvy. 105 to go. Quarter number three. 
Fayetteville just wanting to work some clock right now. Bridges up top over to Byers. Kincaid posting up down low if they want to dump it down there. 30 seconds. Sato on the baseline, kick out, Bridges. Twenty seconds. Now ten. Three pointer on the way. No good. Rebound Cabot. Christopher will take the final shot. Beats the horn. So Shai Christopher's got 13, and we come to the end of the third quarter, and it's 44-23, Cabot trailing Fayetteville. So we'll take the timeout and return to Hornet Arena for the final quarter after these messages. Washington Regional Urgent Care is a convenient, cost-effective option to the emergency room. Open late and on weekends. Just walk in. No appointment needed. Mindset and dedication set the Olympic athlete apart from the rest. Sisters Lexi and Tori share what it takes to be world-class competitors. And with each competition, the bar is continually raised. In the car world, Guatney Chevrolet has set the bar for customer service at the highest level. Since 1957, they've watched the competition, change names, and come and go. Come see why Guatney Chevrolet in Jacksonville takes the gold year after year. Go Guatney or go home. Connecting the divide with high-speed broadband access to close that gap. From cloud to cloud, post to post. From downtown to way out of town. It's our customers connected and energized with Ozarks Go. Fourth quarter underway, Cabot basketball. Sear on the wing, gives it to Ogilvy. Back to Sear. She'll drive baseline. A little scoop blocked by Lyles out of bounds. It'll stay with Cabot. Seven forty-three. All that remains for Fayetteville is Ogilvy knocks her eighth point of the ball game in the basket. Go forth, makes it look so easy, doesn't she? She's got 17. 46 25. 7 12 to go. Still time, but Cabot's going to have to score in a hurry and somehow stop Fayetteville from scoring like at the start of the ball game. And that didn't help. Bridges, good shot by Ogilvy, just wouldn't fall. You wonder if they're getting a little tired. They've had to work pretty hard the last couple of days. As Beck easily up and in. She's got 11. 48-25, 23-point margin. That's off of Fayetteville. It will stay with Cabot. Arnold. Ogilvy, Arnold. Christopher. Three-pointer. No good. Wrong. But Ogilvy with the rebound and the putback. Han is not ready to hang up the uniform yet. She's a battler. Under six minutes to go. Seda brings it back up top. Fable's going to spread it out. Try to work some clock inside Lyles. 
fouled from behind by Sigler. That's Page's first foul. That was, that may have been the world's fastest inbound. Wow. I don't even know the official was back from the scores table reporting the foul. Izzy Arnold picked up a foul. Bridges for three, no good. Sigler with the rebound. Arnold looking to run. She'll go to the basket. That's going to be a block on Seda. She did not get set, trying to draw the charge on Arnold. Five thirty to go, and it is a twenty-one point ball game. Bentonville and Conway tomorrow at noon. Northside and Fayetteville. Tomorrow at 6, the winners will meet in Hot Springs. For a state title, will it be another rematch between Bentonville and Northside? They played earlier this year, and Northside put a whooping on them in Fort Smith. 25 points, I believe it was. That was the spark. That started Northside on a 21-game winning streak after they had dropped two in a row. Christopher off the window goes. Shy Christopher's not ready to hang it up either. She's got 15, does the senior. 48 to 30. 5.05 to go in the ball game. Back, a little scooper with the right hand. No, long rebound, go forth has it. Back up top, Seda, and she'll back it back out. Bridges will launch a three and drain it. Claudia Bridges with her third three of the ball game. 51 to 30. Ogilvy, Arnold, she'll put up a three. No good. Rebound falls to Beck. Fayetteville's just going to continue to run clock here. Five-second count started as Arnold's Garden Bridges lost the handle momentarily. Got it back. Here comes a screen from Lyles. Sigler came out. Now Beck has it. She wants to drive. Scoop with the right hand. No good. Ogilvy, another rebound. She's been a monster on the glass. Christopher, one on three. No good. Go forth has the rebound. Quickly down the other way. Sasha will pull up. Floater, no. A little strong. Sigler battling for the rebound with Beck. And they're going to call Sigler for the foul. Hmm. Look, Beck was the aggressor that time. Beck, go forth. Seda come out of the ball game. Lindsay Byers, Kincaid, and that's a charge. Kincaid with the charge. Lindsay and Bailey up top. Cabot's got Ogilvy, Arnold, Theobald, Bellin, and Christopher on the floor for the final 3:30. See a ball trying to find an opening and just can't. And Arnold says cut inside, gives it to Ogilvy. Back to Arnold. See a ball trying to go up with it, had it knocked away. Bellin missed it, got her own put back, up and in. Emily's first points. Fifty-one thirty-two. Arnold. All the way to the basket. Scoop shot won't go. Lyles with the rebound. Ahead to Bridges. She's not that fast, and it'll turn it right back over to Cabot. Two forty-one to go.
Conway boys knocked out what many considered the top seed overall. North Little Rock, 72-57. Christopher on an old alley-oop. That was pretty. 51-34. Northside girls beat Bryant, 66-44, though that was a little tighter than the score might indicate. Lyles for three. That rattles out. Bailey collides with Bellin and out of bounds. Cabot basketball, but yeah, Conway led the entire way against North Little Rock. Just put it on them, and North Little Rock just never recovered. So it's going to be Bentonville and Conway in the first semifinal tomorrow in the girls' game. Central and Northside at 1.30. The winner of this one against Northside at 6, and then Conway against either Fayetteville or Bryant. Arnold misses. She hits the deck as she collided with Kincaid. She's okay on the other end. A little scoop, and Kincaid hits the layup. So the senior scores, 53-34, 120 to left. Arnold for three. And that's Izzy's first basket of the ball game. 53-37, 110 to go. Byers, Bailey, kick out, Lindsay, Lyles, Byers, back over to Lindsay. Under a minute to go. Fayetteville's moving on. And Northside awaits. Just dribbling her out, looking to kill it. Under 30 to go. Final 15 seconds. Fayetteville's moving on. Your final score, Fayetteville 53, Cabot 37. We'll recap the scoring. We'll start first with Fayetteville. Goforth led the way with 17. Karaya back with 11. Caroline Lyles with 12. Kincaid with 2. Bridges with 9. Seda with 2. 4. Cabot. Christopher led the way in a losing effort with 17. Ogilvy with 10. Bellin with 2. Arnold with 3. 3 balled with 3, and that was it. So Cabot's season comes to a close at 23 and 5. Fayetteville moves on 22 and 5. We'll pause momentarily and be back with the boys' game. But once again, Fayetteville girls on north side tomorrow. That's going to be something. Join us. We'll talk to you in a little bit from Bryant. 